A confirmed tornado in Cyprus. We know that at least five people are dead. Plus, hundreds of thousands of power outages. Yesterday's storm will be impacting the Houston area for quite some time. Thank you so much for joining us. Now we do have team coverage for you of the storm recovery. We have crews in Cyprus where that confirmed twister hit the community of Spring Valley west of downtown and Independence Heights inside of Houston. But we begin with anchor Anthony Antoine in downtown where there's a big cleanup underway. Anthony. Yeah, Rashi and Caroline, and I got to give credit where credit is due. This seems to be a well-oiled machine here on the ground, but here on the corner of McKinney in Louisiana, this is a lot to take in. Just take a look here behind me. This is the Wells Fargo Plaza. You can see a lot of the windows are already boarded up, but that is something that will continue. Now, we're trying to keep our distance here because officials were telling us today there's still a concern that some of that debris from these buildings could fall down, which is why we're trying to keep our distance. But I also want to show you guys what else is happening here. So there's dumpsters pretty much all through this street down because all day today crews were taking their time to pick up the shattered glass that can be found on those streets here and putting it in the dumpsters then someone else was coming and picking it up and taking it to be properly disposed of now when I talk about electricity at the peak of what was taking place here yesterday into today Centerpoint Energy reported about 930,000 customers without power that number is decreasing but for all those people at home who still don't have power it's still an issue here and we got to start thinking weeks and not days. But earlier today, I got a chance to tour this area with Mayor John Whitmire himself. Today, Fox 26 was the only station there as he announced a disaster declaration. And I want to walk you guys through what that day was like here alongside the mayor processing what was taking place here downtown. Looks like a, it looks like an explosion hit it. It does, it does. Shock and awe from Mayor Whitmire in downtown Houston. Wow. As he begins to process the cleanup in the days and weeks ahead. Can you, can you imagine the intensity? Can you imagine the intensity it took come in between these buildings? According to the National Weather Service, downtown Houston had winds of up to 100 miles per hour. The shards of shattered glass on every street tells the story. The force and pressure of those winds were simply too much to handle for countless windows. It's uh, amazing to me how it bounced off buildings, but um, the good news is it's behind us. Several crews are cutting down and removing trees, boarding up windows, replacing traffic lights, while officers are stationed at every corner maintaining order so crews can do their job. Wow, can you imagine this if this people have been on the street? Imagine. Yeah. Or, or, so or even day. later during entertainment time. Surrounded by Fire Chief Pena, Interim HPD Chief Satterwhite, and other county and city leaders, the mayor continued to stress the importance of avoiding downtown. There's entertainment downtown. I would, I would discourage people from coming unnecessarily to downtown. If they do, use every precaution. That includes those attending the Astros game and other events downtown. 2,500 streetlights are out all across the city. You pair that with the shattered glass and downed trees, and it's a traffic nightmare. He also addressed any rumors about the city's water. Whitmire says the plants are working just fine. And after that tour, Fox 26 was the only station to speak to the mayor after signing a disaster declaration. Uh, we send that to the county judge and the governor's office. It gives us additional resources and also the important, it gives us more authority. It allows me to tell people to stay off certain streets, neighborhoods, while the first responders are doing their work. Now, also during that tour today, we had a chance to speak to a meteorologist from the National Weather Service, and he told us down this very corridor was a 100-mile-per-hour wind. So it's not only the Wells Fargo building here that received damage. We also have the Centerpoint Energy building. And then further down this street, we have the Total Energies Tower as well, all with severe damage there to the windows. Today, we also learned a confirmed tornado touched down in Cyprus. And we continue our team coverage here today from that devastating storm with our Domily Keith.